Why is it ever Friday? Hey there everybody, Post Commentary Shadio here. Uh, welcome to the first video of essentially New Game Plus for Hypermax Step 2 and Rebirth the second, where we're going through one of the other many different endings for this game. And I'm actually going to go straight in first with the uh, the ending that seems to polarise the fan base the most. And that being the Conquest ending. Now, I actually asked on the uh, Game Industry subreddit uh, why it was so polarising. And it seems to be like a, you, you like it or you don't like it. And mainly because of the dark turn that it ends up doing. Uh, honestly, I don't know because this is actually going to be my first time actually uh, going for the Conquest ending. Uh, because when I played this game with Vita, I didn't go for Conquest ending. I went straight for the alternative version of Conquest, uh, which is only available in Rebirth 2. And, well, you get that for doing things that you don't do in this route. But, uh, yeah, it's it was that bad that it actually gets referenced in Rebirth 1. Um, when you actually go back to Last Station, Chapter 7, uh, to help Noir out with a fake uh, thing and look for the uh, the ultimate weapon for Last Station. Uh, basically, one of the cutscenes there references that you've probably seen it on the, uh, on the screen right now. But, um, yeah, you see even reference there, and it's sort of like one of the darker tones of Neptune, uh, considering that it's usually a happy, funny, uh, Silly JRPG, and then it turns serious. I think that's probably one of the main reasons why people don't like it. But uh, like I said, I honestly don't have an opinion on it since this is literally the first time I'm going to go for it. Uh, this video is actually going to be fairly short as it is because all this video is going to show is how to actually get through to the conquest ending, and the next video after this uh, will be me starting on the new stuff in uh, the Conquest ending new chapter that uh, unlocks after chapter 5. So without further ado, let's just get on with it. So you remember in chapter 2, there were certain events that I told you in the original playthrough that I had told you to avoid like the play. Well, we're going to look at those events right now. Uh, in order to get the Conquest ending, you have to go and grab these events. Uh, I think it's happened in the game plus, but when they specifically appear. But uh, this, this one for the last station, the Slayer one, uh, actually appeared for me uh, once the Wii appeared as a potential you could go. So, uh, that, there's that. Uh, I believe this actually disappears after chapter when chapter 3 starts. I'm probably wrong about that. I'm, I know it's, the elders appear eventually, but I think this one disappears earlier than the other two. But, uh, yeah, somebody gets into Neptune, uh, Netgear's head that, hey, there might be a cursed sword around that might be able to get rid of the UTSM. And, uh, yeah, remember this for later, guys, because it's not going to leave Gear's head that this is going to be a thing. Uh, the next part of call is the way, actually. And uh, the event for this happens once uh, World Labyrinth appears, and you're looking for, I believe it's a Lethal Mama with the event flag. And uh, well, you get another event once again, putting more seeds of. Uh, hey, there's definitely, most definitely, a super weapon that could definitely kill the deity of Sen if you use it, kind of thing. And th this is essentially what's being pointed out in your mind, is like, yeah, you're probably going to need this sword if the DOT of Sin ever seems to want to appear. But, uh... Since no, there's no record of it actually being used, maybe it doesn't exist, like, if he keeps trying to tell her that, no, it doesn't exist, but, uh... We're going to find out later that, unfortunately, that it actually is actually, in fact, going to exist. I mean, let's be honest, it helped me in my callous adventure to be far. And I'm actually going to be going back to that pretty soon, incidentally. It's probably going to be the side project whilst I'm doing Conquest uh, ending. But uh, that, that's uh, something that's probably more relevant than anything else. But uh, 
yeah, I've not really got much else to say about this uh, this cutscene. Aside from if you're getting called out, be the pipe properly rip. Finally, the uh, lightning box one. This one happens as soon as Gaping Field is spawned on the map. So basically, as soon as you get to the lightning box, you can actually get this event. And you're looking for the Voyager. And I believe this part's the final we'll series in that gear's hard work. So this truly awesome sword that can destroy the world and all that's inside. Oh, it asks like, the important questions like, uh, would you still use this certain sword if uh, you had to take drastic measures in order to actually effectively use it? And spoiler alert, there are actually going to be uh, said drastic measures and uh, we're going to see them all the time as uh, conquest progresses. And so with all three of these, these things uh, viewed, uh, the next things we're going to have to do are uh, going to be done in Chapter 5 because you kind of have to do it before you face CFW Magic uh, before the end of Chapter 5. So I will see you, well I'll not see you there but uh, I'll explain what you need to do. Finally we come to the most tedious part of this which involves a lot of share grinding which is why ideally you do this in Chapter 5 before you face uh, CFW Magic. But uh, you need to recruit all three of the remaining CPUs uh, by getting their shares up to 50%. Um, the Ultra Dimension CPUs are optional, so you can skip them. And if you have actually been doing Lily Rank grinding, I would actually recommend that you do actually skip them because if you don't, you're going to end up going for the Holy Sword ending, which is the alternative version of Conquest. And speaking of the Lily Ranks, I'm just going to show you the Lily Ranks here that I currently have for the. Uh, CPUs and the CPU candidates, uh, basically they all need to be less than 8. Some guys say it has to be less than 4, but that's kind of going to be impossible by default since Neptune starts at early rank 5 with uh, her little sister anyway. So yeah, that is a thing. Uh, you can, I, you, I've mentioned when I was recruiting everybody, you can actually skip the Ultra Dimension CPU simply by just ignoring, not, not going to the country for their event at 30% shares, wait until the you get 50% shares because the CPU event overrides their event. And after that you just crash the shares down until they don't actually appear after the 30% threshold. So that's that's how you deal with the Ultra Dimension CPUs should you do a silly thing as uh, do the rank grinding. Uh, the final thing that you need to do is uh, Pinotoon shares need to be at least, I think, 55%. Uh, I used to have it at, like, I think it's 78 there, because I was hoping to get uh, Histoire, but I don't think uh, the Conquest ending counts as Chapter 6. But yeah, that's how you unlock Conquest ending, and we're going to go down this rabbit hole in the next video. So, until then, take care, and I'll see you later. Ciao!